Next one. Given sin theta is equal to p by q, find cos theta plus sin theta in terms of p and q. Again, we'll have to draw a right angled triangle. So let me draw it here itself. Let me call this as theta. Let me call this as A, B, and C, right angled at this position B, right? Now, sine theta. Sine theta, here it is nothing but sine A, because angle A is over there, and that is given as P by Q, right? Since it is given in terms of P by Q, so I can in generally write, write that as Px by Qx. That means uh, what is sine? Sine is opposite by hypotenuse. So opposite of this theta, I can call it as P times X. Hypotenuse, I can call it as Q times X. Again, using Pythagoras theorem, we have we have what? Uh, hypotenuse square, that means Qx the square should be equal to opposite square, that is Px the square plus adjacent square, AB the square. So what is this? which means AB AB square should be QX the whole square minus PX the whole square or I can rewrite it as AB should be equal to square root of QX the square minus px the square. Or in both of this x square will be common. If I take it out, it will become x root of q square minus p square. That is your ab. So I can write this ab as x root of q square minus now, what is cos theta? Cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse. What is adjacent? Adjacent is your AB. AB is X times square root of Q square minus P square divided by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is QX. So we can cancel this X with this X we have the value of cos theta now. Now the question is, what is cos theta plus sine theta? We will apply this cos theta, which is square root of Q square minus P square divided by Q minus P by Q. So, Sorry, it is plus, plus P by Q. So I think we already wrote this. We can now simplify this as, let me therefore cos theta plus sine theta is equal to, just we will have to write a common denominator which is Q and the numerator is P plus, P plus, square root of q square minus p square. That's the answer for it. So in this session, we just started with uh, what do we mean by trigonometry? And then uh, in general, 
what we do, what we try to find out in trigonometry. And then we also understood what are the different trigonometric ratios. We had seen there are some six different trigonometric ratios, which are sine, cos, tan, uh, cosecant, secant, and uh, cot. And then what are the definitions of each of these trigonometric ratios also we had seen. We had understood one phrase called so ka to wa. Then we did some three different uh, problems to understand, to apply these, whatever we learned in theory. To, just to apply, we did some three different problems in this session. That's all in this session. We'll again meet in our next session, which will be the continuation of trigonometry only. We'll have a series of sessions in trigonometry. Uh, till we go reach up to some word problems. How do we apply trigonometry? Till that, we will proceed. Thank you all. Uh, please do watch all my videos. And uh, if you find the contents to be useful enough, please like and share it with your friends. And if you require regular updates of my videos, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel. Thank you.